Hi guys, today I'm going to talk to you about quantizing emotions, the basic mathematics of psychology, which is my new book. It's available now on Amazon.com. I'm going to link for it in the description below. First, sort of a disclaimer here, this book is not claiming to be proposing any sort of uh, scientific theories. You can think of it as uh, thought experiments uh, or analogies to approach the idea of quantizing emotions. Usually in this kind of books and talks, um, you get the start by um, you know the history of, of the field and so forth. I didn't start like that. Uh, I did of course mention inside the book um, brief about mathematical psychology, psychophysics and evolution of emotion or rather the evolutionary approach to, uh, to emotion. Uh, but I started the book with five thought experiments to sort of build the logic and intuition uh, that led to uh, proposing uh, the approaches uh, to quantizing emotions uh, mentioned in the book. So the first approach is through the hormonal and neural response. So I actually based it on the two system view of stress response. So basically our bodies respond to stress and even other emotions by releasing hormones and neurotransmitters. So I proposed uh, a value for that, I called it the HN value. Uh, and I proposed some notations and some matrices, which are again, I would say, some it could be considered as a sort of analogies and thought experiments to uh, the idea. The second uh, approach is through the science of epigenetics. And even though epigenetics is um, a relatively new field of science, it's actually an emerging and promising field of science, I, I think it's quite promising uh, in our approach to uh, quantize emotions and uh, I proposed why uh, in the book as well. I used the methods of quantum cognition over and over again in the book. So quantum cognition is basically borrowing the ideas and uh, models uh, from quantum mechanics in order to try to predict the human behavior, uh, which has uh, proven uh, way more successful than using the uh, classical models in trying to predict the uh, human behavior. Then I started to uh, also propose some analogies related to the Schrodinger's equation, uh, energy, shape and patterns, some notations, some matrices. Um, again, all of this is just like uh, thought experiments and analogies and it will require, uh, of course, further uh, uh, scientific validation and research. So I'd love to discuss it with um, with anybody who's interested, with physicists, psychologists, uh, mathematicians, uh, or even uh, someone who read the book and, and liked the idea and, and wanted to discuss it with me. Uh, so if you have any questions or comments or you'd like to uh, discuss uh, the things mentioned in the book with me, I'm gonna also uh, write down my email in the description below so you can reach out to me uh, and I'm gonna link for uh, the uh, book which is available now on amazon.com in the description below. Thank you.